Hey guys, Christina here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm working on my piece for the Art Addicts Alliance this month and the team that you voted for was Reflections. While on that subject, please remember to follow the link in the description of this video and go vote for our next month's team. There are some fantastic suggestions so I'm really curious as to see what one's going to win. But before I start talking a bit more about the current artwork. I just wanted to for once mention the art giveaway that's happening. Uh, basically the Art Addicts Alliance, one of the artists each month is giving away an original or a print of the work, of the work that they've done for this month and I always forget to mention this. So uh, make sure to check out Dory's artwork Dory from the channel Dory Stories is giving away her piece and to be honest it's so stunning I kind of secretly want to enter the giveaway but yeah so don't forget to do that because it's really really gorgeous piece and I'm sure a lot of you would want it but now let's get into the piece that I worked on so maybe I should start by explaining the idea that I had for this piece um, as I said, the team was Reflections, and I was thinking, for some reason when I think of Reflections, the first thing that comes to mind is that old story about, um, I'm gonna butcher his name, and I apologize, I'm not that stupid, I just don't know how to pronounce some things in English because it's not my first language, but his name is like Narcissus, we, we call him Narcissus in Bulgarian, so that's why I'm not sure. But basically he was a bit self-absorbed, so uh, his enemies kind of tricked him to look into this lake or a river and he saw his reflection and he was mesmerized by it and he couldn't leave um, the bank of the, of the river, so he was stuck there forever. And that was kind of like what I wanted to do. I wanted to create um, this scene where we have some sort of magical or like enchanted river and basically what happens is you're drawn to look into the water and the minute you do these uh, spirits that live in the river capture your reflection and you can't leave because they capture the part of you so you're just forever stuck on the shore looking at your reflection being taken away and basically the spirits that are in the water are reflections that have been stolen in the past. So um, that's why I added details like the skeleton next to the girl that's alive um, above water just to kind of emphasize the idea that this is a reoccurring thing that is happening in that location. So I thought the idea was pretty cool and I was really excited about it. But I almost actually didn't post this video today. I left it for the last minute to complete this piece because I had part of the sketch done ages ago and I thought that it's going to be a pretty straightforward colouring and completing the sketch obviously before I start colouring. And I focused on other projects this week. I've mentioned this a long, long time ago, but I'm illustrating a book. And it's been a bit slow in the past few months because uh, the person that I'm illustrating it for, uh, he was kind of away for a bit and we still needed to discuss some details. So I was still on like sketching process for a very long time. But finally, this week, um, I think on Monday, we were able to talk and uh, agree on some things and basically I got the green light to start colouring uh, certain things. And I created this deadline myself by the way, but I said that one of the things that we need to send to the publisher is going to be done by the end of the week. And that's fine because it's not a big job, but I've been focusing on it uh, for the first part of the week. and. This is kind of like where my problems started this week. I feel like because this is such an important piece, I'm talking about like the book illustration thing, it's such an important piece that I'm working on right now, 
I feel pressure and I feel like I'm not good enough and I feel like it's not gonna be something that's gonna be liked and I feel like I'm gonna get my feelings really hurt in a really big way this time around and I don't know, I know it's just in my head, I get that, but I can't help the way that I feel. I, I understand it's like a mental thing that's happening, it's not It's not actually my drawing abilities that are the problem. But I think because I felt some pressure for um, this project, that kind of translated into my work for my personal projects, like the Art Addicts Alliance because I started working on this on Thursday and I had the sketch a day earlier, I think I had the sketch on Wednesday but I started colouring on Thursday and immediately when I started colouring I had this really odd feeling of panic and every layer of paint only made it worse and I was feeling really, really bad. I had a full-blown panic attack uh, triggered by this piece because I thought that I messed it up and that I can't fix it. Which, by the way, spoiler alert, I did manage to fix it. Till the end of this video, you're gonna see me struggle and I completely overwork specific areas. But it's just it's just that panic that I felt and instead of stopping and like stepping away from the artwork for a bit which is what I normally do when I start panicking that I messed up something I felt glued to the page and to my desk and I couldn't stop I was just sporadically adding colors and textures and different mediums and it was turning into a big, big mess. And you hit that moment where you realize I don't have time to start this all over. I hit a moment when I was thinking, I'm just gonna message uh, the rest of the guys from the Alliance and I'm gonna say that I'll have to skip this month because I am having an actual panic attack over this. I cried yesterday since um, six in the evening till three in the morning. Um, not not constantly, I would stop and then I would start again, but I just I just hit some sort of like rock bottom. I wanted to bend all of my art supplies, destroy all of my artwork that I've created and that I've posted on YouTube. Um, I wanted to delete my channel. Uh, it was really crazy. I feel, I feel much better today. Um, I still feel a bit tender but in general I feel a lot better and I don't know what happened. I honestly don't, but I yes, last night I was looking at old art and you know when you look at old artwork, how you remember how excited you were about certain pieces and how proud you were of them? And up until yesterday I was still proud of some of my work. And yesterday I was going through kind of like my portfolio, I keep them in a folder and I hated everything and I felt like I had this big moment of realization that I suck at art, that my artwork that I've been sharing is crap, that no one likes it, that I've been looking at my artwork and my progress as an artist through rose tinted glasses and that I'm actually horrible and everything that I do is horrible and it's not worth it and I've wasted my time and there's no point in following my dreams to be an artist because I'm just not good enough. I've been delusional. That was my thought process yesterday, which sounds crazy. Um, and as I said, I'm feeling much better now. I, I still have weird thoughts and ideas uh, about my art, but I promise I'm not going to damage anything and I'm not going to delete the channel or anything like that. Um, this morning, I'm actually recording this voiceover on Friday, I was not sure if I was going to post this artwork still. But I thought it's important to share these things. Um, I'm sure every artist has moments like this, when we're on the verge of breakdown and on the verge of giving up and we think we're not good. And this is a side of being an artist, 
that we don't often talk about, but it happens all the time and I had it really bad yesterday. So even though I'm not proud of this piece in particular and I feel like there is not much that I can say about it and I feel like it doesn't have a lot of redeeming qualities, I still wanted to share this artwork with you. I wanted to share my experience from yesterday and I wanted to document this and I hope you still enjoyed today's video. I promise that next week's work is going to be better. Uh, please like this if by any chance you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.